Hey, what is up guys, Zograna23 here and today's video is going to be an updated dinosaur list since a lot of you ask me to show off my current build. So let's get started. Before we start, subscribe to our channel if you're not already. Please guys, it is really, really important. Give a like on the video if you like it and feel free to comment down below what do you think about this deck list. So as you should know, if you've been following me for the last couple of years, I was really, really in love with True King of All Calamities. So I found out a new way to go from Calamities to Calamity, which is this big boy in here that wins you the game in the same way. So let's take a look at how I'm gonna perform the uh, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity Summon. So let's get started with the main deck. As the main deck for the big boys, we got two copies of Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, pretty self-explanatory. The one Overtax Quatlus, I know a lot of people uh, have been cutting this lately, but I still love it, so I'm gonna play it. And then the one True King Lithosagem, the Disaster. So no reason not to play this. This card is so strong and it is a starter with your babies in hand. Then for the little dinos, level 4, we got 3 copies of Soul Raptor, this card Playmaker, 3 copies of Miscellanosaurus, nothing to say, especially um, in gold, this card is amazing, I love it. And then last but not least for the level 4, we got also the one copy of the Giant Rex, this is so recursive and will come back every single time, so I think it's a good card to be played. Then for the babies, we got 3 copies of Baby Cerasaurus and the one copy of Petit Tyranodon. This ratio is super fine for me. You can toy around also with five if you want, if you want to maximize on them. It is absolutely fine anyways. Then the one Dino Wrestler, Seolacilat, Coelacilat, I don't know what's the name in English actually. This card acts like an Aeolo basically, but uh, it's less of a brick because if you draw this in your first turn, you can special summon it. So that's the main difference and you can also synchro summon with this in an easy way. It's also earth, so target for your uh, little Zajim at least. And then two copies of Animadorn Arcosaur. This card is so, so strong, guys. And if you can afford to play this, just play it because it is necessary for the strategy and to combo off in a really easy way. And then for the two bricks, I have the one Coltwing and the one Deathbot 001. These are because of the Alki Fibrax engine. That engine is still so strong, especially if you go into the Auroradon. And by playing the Coltwing, you can also go and end up on a couple of Heralds, which is pretty fine, especially if your combo is blocked. So if your combo is blocked by your opponent by some hand traps and stuff, thanks to Coltwing and Auroradon, you can at least end on two Heralds and probably you also will land on a Tyranno or on an Overtax, which is fine. For the hand traps, we got two copies of Ash Blossom. This is the most staple one. You can play three, you can play Nibirus, you can play Drawler Locks. And then I'm playing two Ghost Ogres. I know that this choice might be weird. This deck list is not, uh, it, it is more like a for fun. I, I'm aware of that. And by having the Ghost Ogre, you have an easy access to another tuner to go into your Alki Firebrax thanks to the teleport, which is of course in the main deck. That's the main reason why Ogre is here. And then three copies of Gamma alongside with the driver. This is the only one that I will strongly suggest you to run because the Gamma package this is really important. Also because we have a lot of power spells plus the Miscellanosaurus that activates from the graveyard while you don't control any kind of monster on your side of the field. Then we got three copies of Fossil Dix for the spell cards. This card is super great, Rota for the deck. Two copies of Double Evolution Pill. Necessary to play uh, two of these because of the Arcosaur and especially if you're running also the Overtax, um, at least two is fine. And then for the Monocopies, the one Terraforming alongside with the one Granite Diagram. I'm not gonna cut this because once again, Little Zajim is too strong of a card. It is really, really too strong. The one one for one because it's another Arcosaur. Not a lot of people are running this, but I assure you guys, this is another Arcosaur. If they go like Ash Blossom on your Miscellanosaurus, you can go one for one and then combo off once again if you've already got the baby in your hand, of course. The one Foolish Burial because it's another Miscellanosaurus. The one Monster Reborn because you can reborn 
any, any kind of opponent's hand trap in order to get a tuner on your side of the field, like Ash Blossom on Effect Veiler, and this is really effective for that reason. The one emergency teleport, as I stated before, is another way to go to your tuner and to your RK Fabrax play. And then last but not least, the one called by the grave to get rid of the opponent's hand traps. This is a really strong card overall. Then for the extra deck, of course, we got the Aurodon tokens, necessaries, <laughs> if you want to play that engine. Then for the synchros, we got the one formula synchron, which allow you to draw one card and to synchro summon during the opponent's turn. The one Martial Metal Marcher, necessary for the combo, two copies of Herald of the Ar or, or the Arclight, sorry. And this card is necessary for what I told you before, which is if you get interrupted, you can end on two of these, just thanks to the Call Twing itself. The one Crystal Quandex, this card is necessary once again to synchro during the opponent's turn, and you can bring this out also in the opponent's turn, thanks to RK Fabrax. The one Maddy Mad Dragon because it's a Dark Dragon Synchro Monster which is necessary to special summon the Hot Red Dragon King Calamity, uh, the name of this card, my god, which requires two tuners plus one Dark Dragon Non-Tuner Synchro Monster. It seems really hard guys but it is super performable. performable. I will leave you the link of this combo uh, down below and also up here if you want to see the combo to perform the summon of this guy during opponent's turn when this card is summoned the opponent cannot respond to this card activation and he cannot activate cards <laughs> that's it and it's a 4k beat stick so you will beat over everything and technically 99% of the times otk also because you're gonna add the double evolution pill to the mix so you already have 75 damage on your board just by having the Tyranno plus the Calamity. Then with the one was a Lagia, the one Dolka, you cannot cut this. The one number 60, you can cut this, but I love this card. It helps me so much. Also for OTKing and stuff, you can double the attack also of the King Calamity and deal 8k damage just with this. Then the one Psy Frame Lord Lambda and consider also playing the Omega. The one IP Mascarina, the one Crystal RK Fabrax, the one Unicorn, it could be a Phoenix if you want, and last but not least, of course, the one Aurodon, because once again, thanks to this and the Call Twing, you can end up in a really huge board just by getting to a tuner. Then, for the side deck, this is as personal preferences. You want Pancratops, this is mandatory in the Dinosaur deck. Three copies of Lancia, you can also run Nibiru's and Drolls, as I said before, it depends on your locals and on the environment you are playing in. Three copies of Dark Ruler no more, power spells are super useful nowadays. Then three copies of Chalice, I want to absolutely change this with a, a playset of Solemn Judgments in order to stop these cards here, which are really good. And also you can add, if you want, an Imperial Order instead of the red reboot you will see later, because I'm running three copies of Cosmic Cyclone, also because there are some prankets with Mystic Mind that are running around. Then the one uh, Harpy's Feather Duster for the same reason and of course also for Ed Lich variants. And the one Red Reboot because I hate uh, back rows. But what, this, once again, this could be an Imperial Order and these three Chalices in here could be three Judgments. This is pretty a good of a, uh, suggestion, I guess. You can, of course, run what you have and what you want. So that's it for the uh, deck profile. I really hope you enjoyed it, guys and uh, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see the combo that will allow you to go into this super huge beast in here and win the game turn one so nothing changed we went just from calamities to calamity and we can win the game by going first as well subscribe to the channel if you're not already give a like on the video if you like it and see you in the next one